Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about an internal pen testing tactic or initial attacking vector or however you wanna call this. When you get inside of a network, if you're doing an internal assessment, how can you get some of the hashes and all that stuff? So stay until the end, let's learn a few things. And remember, please like, subscribe and share. And let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, folks, so we are on my Kali machine. So if we can see here, I probably have to boot this bad boy back up. So I want to start that machine. Let's, uh, let's I want to maximum or minimize this for a second. So in my red team lab, this is probably gonna be super, super small. Uh, let me see if I can, I'll see if I can zoom that in. But I have a Kali machine, a Waza, Windows 10 and Windows Server 2022, a domain controller. So in my Windows 10 machine, let's go ahead and log in. Pat Gorman, I have my user that I can log in here. And we, let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and X out of that. And we can look on our domain controller as well. Just wanna show you guys a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, let me make sure I put my right password in. All right, so in here we have a Windows Server 2019 box. So let's go ahead and open up Windows uh, Active Directory Users and Computers. I have a Users OU, a Groups OU, and all that stuff. So in Users, I have Administrator. That's a domain admin. If we double click on that, we can see that domain admin. We have Dan Smith, Mike Myers, because I, I'm a, I was gonna put Michael Myers, but it's too long. Uh, Michael Myers from Halloween and then Pat Gorman, which is me, and then a SQL service that we have a password there. But this is not, anything has to do with that. And we see here we have Dan Smith's password in the description because the admin set that up and all that stuff. So what we're gonna do today, let's go ahead and make this bigger so we can toggle through it. Let me make this bigger. Let me make the resolution like 175. I think that should be good for my blind eyes. All right, so we have our Kali machine. Let's go back to Kali. And we have a red team, blue team. So if you guys watched the live yesterday, I believe it was, you're gonna see, you're gonna see in there, we set up everything in VirtualBox. I had some problems, so I redid that whole lab in VMware Workstation. So going forward, we're gonna be utilizing this lab. And I have a whole nother lab that I'm using for my PMPT. And this is a whole different lab that I did with like with my OSCP and all those studies. So every single lab has its own purpose. Obviously some things overlay, right? Because some of the attacks and some of that stuff, you know, goes hand in hand. All right, so I also, let me go ahead and show you guys this. In my, in my, uh, in my lab here, let me see. I actually set something up here too. We can see it here. I'm not done setting this up. This is probably gonna be my setup for the configuration, me as the quote unquote hacker. We have Kali Linux, we have a Windows 10 box, another Windows 10 box, a Waza, a domain controller, and then my network is gonna be on 192.168.1.0 slash 24. I really hate network diagrams. That's not my favorite, but I was trying to, you know, I'm better at typing it all out, but I wanted to have some visual rep, uh, you know, representation of that. So here we have host only, obviously on all my networks besides the Kali box because I needed to install updates. I have two NICs in there, one for my um, host only and one natted. So let's come back here. We can, uh, that's the Waza, that's an EDR. So if I do an if config here, Okay, I statically assigned my ETH zero to 1.40 so that I can talk to my domain controller and then I have another interface card here natting at 192.168.100.211 that's getting out to the interwebs. Okay, that's just a little bit of the lab. Whoops, clear, I meant. All right, so now what can we do? So this video is about 
getting a hash, cracking that hash and logging into a machine, right? That's what this is gonna be about. So first things first, when we're a pen tester, when we're internally accessing your internal network, what we can run is Responder, right? So Responder is gonna listen in for any kind of connection for LLMNR, DNS, DHCP, SMB, it has an SMB server, uh, Cobro server, SQL server, FTP, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What does this mean? So now any connections coming back to our machine will capture a hash. So we're just gonna go ahead. In the real world, you'll wait, you'll set something up, you're gonna have something listening, like a man in the middle attack, and then we can listen in for that incoming connection to our Kali machine. But <clears throat> I wanna go ahead and speed this baby up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to whack whack 192. <clears throat> excuse me, 168.1.40. That's my Kali machine. And I'm just gonna put P Gorman and then my password. Okay. And oops, it doesn't authenticate. But on the flip side of that, when we go back to Kali, come back all the way down here, we already have that hash. So you should see your hash. Let me go ahead and now what I did, I captured that hash before because I was testing it. And now if I do an LS, we have this hash right here. So this is my hash that we have. So once you get that, you would copy this hash, right? So say for example, you would copy it, you would create nano, uh, let's put Pat, and then you would just paste that in your nano, do a control X and save it and so on and so forth, right? And then we can see that hash there. Now, whoops, once we have that hash, what can we do with it? Normally you can do pass the hash attacks, but that's not about this video. This video is about getting the hash and cracking the hash and utilizing that cracked password in order to remotely connect to our domain controller, right? And then hopefully it's, you know, this will give you a little uh, understanding of how this techniques are work, how this technique works, okay? So now let's go ahead and just do, let's do hashcat, hashcat, hashcat. All right, dash M for mode is gonna be 5,600. And then we'll do pass, pass hash. And then my word list that I wanna use is right here. So LS, uh, millworm, millworm dictionary. Obviously this is the what I'm using. You can use rock, you, you can use whatever you want. So what I wanna do is copy this, come back here, I wanna paste it. Sure. Translate into which language? Oh man, that's uh, all right. So mill, and then if I hit enter, we it shows that it's been cracked already. I cracked this already. So now we can just hit the up arrow, dash dash show, and now we can see all the way down here. Make sure my big head's not in the way. It's password twenty twenty four, right? So now with that password, what we can do is now get access to our machine, right? So we can do that multiple ways, but let's go ahead and just do it um, the best way. I'm just gonna do a PS exec really quick. PS exec, and then I wanna do, in my case, it's gonna be info, I wanna show you. So if you type in PS exec, you can see that you need the target right here. So you need your domain, username, password at the target. So what is it saying? My domain, my case is infosecpat slash P Gorman. My password is password 2024. And it's gonna be at the, the target for my domain controller. In my case, it's gonna be 192.168.1.10. Okay, so let's do up arrow, up arrow. So it's gonna be infosecpat, infosecpat, okay, slash P Gorman. And then it's gonna be colon, and my password is password 2024, okay? And then we're gonna do at my case 192.168.1.10, okay? And boom, we are in, we got a connection, who am I? We are uh, NT authority, so we could do who am I, space less priv, and we can see that we have 
King Kong rights here, right? So we can do group, who am I, slash group, or group, uh, who am I, let's see, who am I, slash question mark, I thought it was groups, yeah, slash groups. Who am I, space slash groups. All right, we can see that we're built in administrators, NC authority, and we can see that everything that we have here. All right, so this is pretty much telling me we have King Kong rights, right? We own that domain, like if we do host name, we can see DC1, so we know it's probably running the DC. So that's pretty much, we learned a few things in this video, right? We learned how to uh, compromise or capture a hash file. We cracking it with Hashcat, and then we can utilize that cracked password with the user that we cracked, right, P. Gorman, and authenticated to our domain controller. So I really think this was a pretty fun little exercise. I was just doing this today, and I wanted to showcase this on a video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and cancel that. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And I really hope this was informative for you guys and you learned something. And if you want to know anything about my lab, how I set it up, be prepared to tune in on Saturdays. I'm going to be doing some live red team, uh, blue team hacking and defending type stuff. So that's why I got Waza, EDR and all that stuff. So yeah, that's it for me today. And I thank you so much and have a beautiful day.